starting on Capitol Hill overnight. Government shut down for the second time in three weeks over a funding bill. It was forced by Senator Rand Paul making a point about the deficit, but lawmakers were able to scramble, strike a deal just moments ago. Our senior congressional correspondent, Mary Bruce, coming off an all-nighter. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, George. Well, we have never seen anything quite like this before. Two government shutdowns in just three weeks. And this time there was a government spending bill on the table ready to go that could have prevented all of this. But overnight, one Republican senator held that plan hostage. Rand Paul of Kentucky forcing a, a shutdown, blocking a vote to make a political point. For hours, he railed on the floor against what he says is out of control government spending. And he was defiant. Take a listen. Well, you know what? I think the country's worth a debate till 3 in the morning. Do I want to shut down government? No. But do I want to keep it open and not reform it? Hell no. Now, Paul kept this up for hours, finally relenting around 1 a.m., exhausted and very frustrated with his colleague senators, then voted to pass this sweeping spending bill. But then members of the House had to be hauled out of bed, back up here into work. And just a short while ago, they did pass this bill to finally reopen the government, ending this five-hour shutdown. It's actually going to take several weeks to write the final deal. Some other opposition could mount in those weeks. And, of course, the big thing left out of this deal was anything on the Dreamers and immigration. Yeah, George, those Dreamers are still hanging in the balance which, with that March 5th deadline looming. Now, next week, the Senate will move to an open free-for-all debate as they try to come up with a plan to protect them. But both sides up here are pretty dug in. Republicans calling for stricter border security. And, of course, there's questions about the president's wall, which Democrats oppose. Now, next week, the Senate will bring up varying proposals, voting till they're blue in the face and can come up with a plan that can actually pass. But, of course, whatever passes in the Senate then has to clear over in the House where changes are likely to be made. And the big X factor here is the president. What immigration bill is he willing to sign? Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.